Hello, my friend. This is Nick Cranky of TriStar Finance of Bellevue, Washington. And today is a question I'm going to answer for you that I get a lot in regards to the zero down USDA loans I do. Uh, and it just seems a lot of lenders cannot do them on tribal land or leased land where it's not deeded in the normal way. Well, you know, that's one reason why we are approved with so many different wholesale lenders and so many different investors for our bank lines. And let me show you, uh, oh, we don't have, you know, some of them, we don't have any overlays on top of things. Like Wells Fargo, they won't do mobile homes even if you're 850 credit score making a million dollars a year. But, and that's one of their risk overlays. So some of our lenders do have that, some of them don't. And let me just show you this. Now this here is directly from USDA Guarantee Program, their core guidelines. And let me show you. So we go right here, loans on a leasehold interest. Okay, it goes over, loan may be guaranteed if made on leasehold owned or being acquired by the applicant when the lender determines that long-term leasing of the home site is a well-established practice and such leaseholds are freely marketable in the area provided the lender determines and certifies to rural development that, you know, unable to, you know, obtain fee title. And this is the big one, unexpired term. The lease has an unexpired term of at least 40 years from the date of approval. So that means if you have a 30-year loan, it has to run at least 10 years past for 40 years, of which you know, USDA uh, just does 30-year loans. So anyhow, that's a quick shoot little message for you. And if you need some more details, need help getting a hold of the Bureau of Indian Affairs, which we do all the time, give me a call, 425-202-5655, Nick Cranky your friend in the loan